it's amazing how different variation of dahlias you can get by simple pouring paint on canvas and then swiping it outwards with a spoon this color combination was a bit on the challenging side but i went for it primary colors magenta blue and yellow amazing guys do check out today's creation video you're gonna love it hello everyone this is a girl camila want to say welcome back to my channel are you guys all ready for another fun collaboration this time it's with doris from doris at df design super excited to work with her our criteria for the collaboration today is that we have to use a round canvas 16 inch round canvas all right um and the colors that we um chose to use is actually the primary colors the primary yellow blue and magenta only adding like gold or silver some black and white depending if we want to go black base or white base stuff like that adding some you know gold in between or silver in between to check out the names of the brand names of the colors that I'm using, do go ahead and check it out in my description box. You know, I'm using two shades of magenta. Well, I had two shades of magenta mixed. I um, wasn't too sure which one I wanted. That blue is a custom mixed blue, but I know we, we decided on the primary blue. I wanted to lighten things up because you know, the primary blue that I use, it's, it's a bit on the deeper shade. And I, I was afraid of, um, you know, getting the colors too deep, too dark somehow. You guys will see how I do this. Um, you know, when, you, when you're working with these colors, sometimes you want to make sure that um, you add a bit of white or something in between so that the colors becomes a bit brighter, right? Um, but I, I, I was just experimenting and having fun. Every time I do this technique, guys, I have to say to you, I don't know for a fact how the colors are going to react with each other because remember this is a fluid art right and um, sometimes you have this idea in your head that okay it's gonna come out this way but then when you see how the colors react how they blend how they you know it's just the whole reaction with each other sometimes it's a bit off right so I wanted to you know mix Two different shade of magenta here this one is the artist loft deep uh, bright magenta really beautiful color i love it guys you guys can see how pretty it is so nice um you should check it out and i decided to use this as one of my base color here so this is going to be the base as well as i'm using white as the base sometimes i do that sometimes i just use one solid color as my base but i decided to you know what go ahead and add the bright magenta here the artist love bright magenta as my second base trying to spin it out here <laughs> and um you know it's a bit tricky because um, as you can tell that my my spinning table here is the same size as my canvas <laughs> super excited but anyways i uh, yeah this was enough spinning decided now that I'm just gonna keep spreading it out making sure that it's even so I'm using my spoon you guys can tell that that's a regular spoon the dinner spoon um, that a tablespoon no, sorry, not a tablespoon my dinner spoon I call it my dinner spoon I had it for a while you can tell that it's broken and I uh, decide you know what let me just use this in my my um, technique for today my swiping technique to create the petals all right just adding some more of that bright magenta um, to create you know at least have it even somewhat here on the canvas all right so you guys do bear with me it's gonna be a fun process because you know what this is my first attempt using this uh, big spoon all right so do bear with me and do have fun and if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet guys do go ahead and hit that subscribe button 
hit the bell hit all so that whenever i post a new video you are notified i do a lot of fun technique you know all acrylic paintings i like to experiment and at the same time i like to encourage influence inspire someone to get up think outside the box like my good friend here doris i want to give her a big shout out because you know what she approached me she tried my technique this technique here is here for all of you guys to try doris had given it a try and then she reached out to me and she said camille check out my spoon swipe dahlia it was such a pretty flower you did amazing doris thank you so much for reaching out to me and thank you for asking me to be a part of your collaboration keep doing what you do you're amazing you know what um god bless you and your beautiful talent you know just um believe in yourself keep doing what you do and i'm saying this to everyone that's watching i'm saying this to every one of my subscribers and my followers and my viewers and also to doris uh followers and viewers too who came out to support me today thank you guys so much and uh you know keep keep at it okay art is really fun it's more than fun it's actually therapy and at the end of the day guys you know what just make it your own you know don't try to aim for perfection at the same time make it your perfection don't look at what i do and say that you know what i want to get exactly like camille's no you know once you get the hang of it and are the, you know any techniques out there in the float art you know make it your own make it your own so that you are able to stand out amongst the crowd that's what you want you don't want to do something and then you know when you make a business out of it someone can tell if it's your work or if it's somebody else's work right just make it your own and have fun make it your own so that's the spoon that i'm using guys you can tell that it's a real big spoon <laughs> and of course i'll be swiping with the side edge of the spoon all right for now i'm using just these two colors the blue and um as i mentioned before check my description box for the names the brand names of the paint and all i can tell you that this color combination is really beautiful you know if you add magenta and blue together create a, a secondary color purple right so i wanted to be a bit on the safe side so i didn't want to use the yellow just yet but here i am just adding the custom mixed light blue and i know doris and i had decided to just use primary colors but whenever i'm doing my flowers i like to add different shades of blue because you know i want to get contrast in there i want to get i want to be able to show some depth some definition in the petals it's very important right so i added in between i'm not putting as much as the, the primary colors just a bit to highlight here and there i didn't want to quite depend too much on the white to brighten things up but yeah um you know i could have gone ahead and added um you know another color maybe silver or something to soften things up add some sheen in here but i decided to just use this light blue and here i am making the first swipe wait for it here it comes all right so i got a bit what so anyways i did it right this time wanted to get wanted to show that to you guys so you know what I wasn't applying that much pressure so I didn't swipe this so the first attempt I didn't get a swipe but here it is you can't really tell the difference because you're probably thinking oh my gosh it's it looks similar to the the ones with the tiny spoons or the tablespoons or those plastic teaspoons that I use but I'm telling you guys these petals are a bit bigger and it's it's beautiful all right so when I'm swiping, I always wipe my spoon clean after each swipe. Well, as clean as I can after each swipe, okay? I'm taking a bit of that magenta and I'm pulling it out towards the blue because I wanted to get a blending of uh, the blue and the magenta. Wanted to create a secondary color here. But keep watching, guys, and I do hope that you enjoy the video. I'm going to be quiet now. I will, you know... Put some music on for you and i do hope you guys get to stick around all the way to the end and see the close-up of the wet result and the dried result so don't you go away thank you before i go i just want to quickly mention as well too that for those who has never seen this technique and for those who i know have questions about you know how i mix my paint for this particular technique 
I mix it, I keep tweaking it. I mix it one part paint to two parts pouring medium. And I do use the Artist Law pouring medium. And um, I sometimes, I don't do it all the times, depending on the techniques. But I've started out with using the Zinsser Latex Extender. And it's just because you know what, it's good for your latex paint or your acrylic paint. I just wanted to, it's just a good practice for me that I use it because I don't want to get cracking or grazing in my paint. So I use that when I can. And, uh, but if you, if you don't have um, Zinsser, a lot of people ask me, do you have, you don't have to guys, I promise you, nothing is going to happen. It's just a practice for me that I, I mix my, I mix it in my paints. Um, you know, but you don't have to, uh, you know, and you can use school, school glue, whatever glue you have, because all you need is a binder to bind your acrylic. If you use just water only, you have to make sure that you add more paint instead of water in, you know, and don't thin your paint for this technique here. It's not too thin. I make it where it leaves a mount on a mount before it slowly disappears. So it's kind of on the thicker side. Um, the reason why I love the Artist Loft Pore Medium, it has a gloss finish to it. And if you notice some of my painting has a sheen to it when it's dry, I love that Pore Medium. It's a bit expensive, but I do love it, right? Um, so that's why I mentioned if you want to use glue or you know something that's more economical, you guys can use that too. Also, I want to mention that I've have I have a video out there in my playlist or on my YouTube channel where I use ready mix pouring paint to show you guys that you know it depends on the consistency. Some of those uh, pouring medium um, ready pouring paints they are not thick and they are not too thin, but you have to know how to work with it, right? I showed a video showing Deco Art ready to pour paints. I just, whenever you're using ready to pour paint, just make sure you don't mix it with the artist love for this particular technique. Just use that one solid brand and uh, you will get great results. Same thing if you're using the artist love ready mix pouring paint, just use them by themselves when you're creating these beautiful flower hair, the Dahlia spoon flower, you will get beautiful results. As you guys can see, I was adding some white in between. That white is pearl white, okay? So I decided to use pearl white Doris. I didn't go with gold or silver. I just wanted to brighten things up here. Didn't want to use gold because sometimes when you add gold with certain colors and you swipe it, you might get, you know, some off. I just didn't want to chance that. Silver would have been great, but I wanted to add white to brighten things up wasn't really working out the way I expected it to see what I mentioned to you earlier guys that sometimes when you add the colors and you swipe you're thinking that okay it's gonna work out for you what you had in your mind but it doesn't normally work out that way but I kept going um, some of those bright colors that you see popping up you know like the bright the blue the light blue that I custom mix it's you know creating a bit of a highlight in here and I'm loving it so do check it out guys all the way to the end you will see me doing some adjustment um, I do a lot of adjustment and I will explain to you why I did that uh, further on in the video so do stick around all the way to the end and yeah I will see you for the close-up thank you
so how are you liking it so far guys remember when i said i made some adjustment all right so i did went and do some extra swiping in um after i thought i was okay with it i swiped the outer um, pedal some more i just wanted to make it more compact and i'm happy i did that i was a bit worried when i started but i'm happy i did that and then i added my yellow last because while I was working here, I'm like, I didn't want to get green with the blue. I was okay with getting orange, but I didn't want to get uh, green. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to put the yellow in the center or closer to the, the middle of the flower. All right. Still using all the primary colors here. I think it still counts, right, Doris? <laughs> I hope you're not like, Camille, what happened to the yellow when, when I was going? But yeah, I put the yellow last. And here I am just... Um, I just I couldn't see the definition of the petals the way I wanted to so I'm just adding some white um, you know outlining the petals here guys uh, for the inner petals the outer petals were fine but for the the inner petals I wanted to make them more defined so here I am just adding more white and I'm just dipping the back of my skewer the end of my skewer here and you know the paint the cup with the white paint or sometimes you might see me just taking it off uh, my table you know where I get some drippings you know this is just how you have to just quickly think outside the box and make it your own because you don't have to just accept the painting as is you can go back and tweak it I'm, I'm literally just tweaking it here but I'm tweaking it safely okay with experience guys I you know I'm a little bit more practice I do um, I, I just <laughs> I'm getting lost for words but I kind of get it um, with a little bit more practice what how I want to see my flower to turn out you know and um, where I want to see some more highlights it just comes over time and I and I just want to show you different ways okay because this was a uh, challenging to me it was a challenging color combination because like I mentioned before I didn't want to get green I, I guess if I had add all the colors together maybe I could have made it a bit more rainbow looking um, dahlia I was thinking about that you know because if you notice the center of the flower here it has shades of the rainbow you know like you can see some purple and you know um, the green the blue the orange the yellow and it's just beautiful but then I just wanted to make it a bit deeper and uh, more defined and I said you know just to be safe let me just add the yellow here in the, in the center and I'm happy I did that really really happy and adding the white uh, to outline the petals is just amazing happy I did that also and you will notice that I am stretching uh, the petals in some area like I'm using the skewer to push the paint outwards towards the tip you guys can do that too um, it's not written in stone where hey you just swipe and leave you know if you want to make your, your petal more defined swipe it out and guys I, I have to tell you straight up that I did not have a lot of paint here on my canvas this painting I'm gonna be honest when I, I did it in the evening maybe let's say after seven okay and by the next day this was dry all right I'm just showing you that I did not pour a lot of paint on the canvas so that my petals didn't lose shape and it, it was just amazing here it is the close-up of the wet result check out the center of this flower guys check out the definition of each petals they are beautiful Doris let me tell you challenging color combination but I love it I love the magenta in here it's a really bright magenta oh my goodness and I'm happy that I, I chose that one I didn't even use the brand um, by Liquitex basic don't even get me started with trying to pronounce that but I just use the bright magenta here and I am loving it so beautiful guys let me know what you think about this one in the comment section and of course give this video a thumbs up if you do the dried result is coming up
here it is the close-up of the dried result it's beautiful it dried deep and dark and the white tips on these petals here how I outline it after with the white using the back of the skewer is just amazing it's amazing how you can use different tools in the flow dart to create beautiful flower no need for a paintbrush here guys just beautiful what do you guys have to say about this one it's so 3d looking and of course i'm loving the center here where i added the yellow and um, i'm loving the green highlights in here as well for, uh, for the center of the petals or the center of the flower it's beautiful let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below and of course i will see you next time on camila moy art bye